Good day, folks, and you're Jesse McCullum, right? You're Bob Moffat, right? I believe so. Nobody's told me any different today, so I'm rolling with it. Check your hairline. Thanks, shut up. Thanks for, uh, we're doing a video here. Thanks for inviting me up to your shop. Oh, we're going to run through an Everlast up. 212 today. Cyclone 212, Cyclone C25. 212. Take a peek at all the settings on it first. I think we should. See what it offers. Machine. Got some capabilities. Let's run through some scenarios here. We'll go zero pre-flow. Kind of a hard, crispy start. So I'm going to add eight tenths of a second on the pre-flow. Do that again. Kind of notice a better start. Much better I could hear start. the gas. When you pulled the trigger, I could hear the gas come on, and it was a full eight tenths of a second, which seemed long. Uh, post flow, we're really not going to notice anything on carbon steel per se. A really good beneficial setting for stainless. I'm going to go over to post flow and give you one second worth. Let's hear what that does. Blowing gas for a full second? Blowing gas after I let the trigger off. Okay. So. I don't think we need to do that on our carbon steel, but again, that's very beneficial on stainless. Turn this rascal off. Next one is inductance. We're at 20. I'm going to turn you down to nothing. I'll turn you down to 0.1 or 1% it is. 1%. Pretty crispy. Let's add 25%. Okay. A little fatter. A little fatter. Yeah. Uh, let's go up to about 50%. See if it doesn't smooth out and uh, sound a little cleaner. What do you think? A little fatter. We're at 19.1, 281 on the inches per minute. 50% inductance. Want to make a value change anywhere? Let's go 100% uh, inductance. Okay. Give her a run. Let's do it. We're at 100%. Buttery. <laughs> are you staying? Are you staying on top of the weld pool? Staying or like on the leading edge. Little leading edge of okay. it. All right. Um, do you like it, 100%? No, it's a little little too wet. I like, personally, I mean, my, my, I like 35 to that 30 45, to, 50 yeah, percent. Yeah, 30 to 50 percent. Well, we'll meet you in the middle there, old buddy. We'll take that back to 35 percent. <coughs> See if we can't make that sound a little bit sweeter. <coughs> a little nice and crispy. It's nice and tight, Governor. Like it? I like that one. All right, we need to go to burn back. The last one on this left side here. Burn back at, uh, we'll go zero seconds. Uh, I can, the guy just stuck his wire. Do you believe that? Who does yeah. that? You stick your wire, didn't you? You messed up my burn back. Wow. So yeah, no burn, uh, no burn back. It's gonna leave that wire right in the weld pool when you let off the trigger. Well, sounds like you need a little burn back then. I need about I need about point three. Point three? Yeah. You got it. Comes off there nice and easy now. You want more? Is that about your the amount that that's you about, have for electrical that's, stick out? That's about what I prefer, because then that okay. gives me a nice I can just clip that ball off. Let's clip that ball off and I got nice wire there. Uh, what is your stick out, by the way? Half inch? Thereabouts? Yeah, about half. Okay. Call it three eighths. Good number. Three eighths to half. Maintain that for electrical stick out. Defined as the distance of wire from the contact tip to the weld pool. Not the nozzle, the contact tip. Contact tip. Uh, okay, you want to go over here to this left side on the spot and the stitch? Spot. We'll leave everything else the same on the left side. Spot we have it's off now. Let's give it a value of one 
1.5 seconds. Okay. That's a single trigger pull. So yeah. it'll then leave the arc on for 1.5 seconds. Right. Now if we add the stitch part of it, that's that's the dwell in between each of those 1.5 second spots. That'll make it a, that'll make it cyclical. Oi. Good word. So I'm gonna add a stitch of one second. So now you're gonna weld for a second and, and in I mean, 1.5 seconds. Weld for Leave 1. the trigger 5. on and it'll go a, one second in between each of those 1.5 second plugs. Yes, sir. Right? Yep. So one trigger pull. Little poor man's pulse there. You bet. Dialed in. I mean, that works. That's cool. Imagine doing uh, like a ornamental artwork or ornamental work around the homes, custom builds and stuff. You've seen this where you break up the heat. You know, yeah. You don't do all around. these stitch welds. You don't want to weld it solid. You don't need to weld it solid. Yeah, even doing like uh, thin gauge body panels, you know, you could set you a real short spot there with you go. a pretty long, pretty long stitch. That'll give you time to get down down your seam an inch or two and do a little spot. Cool. Uh, 1.5, you want to change those values and I can, I know where I want to use this. Use where do you want on, to use it? I want to use it on the outside corner or something. I want to see you run it on that 3 8 plate you have set up. Oh, you want to do it down the, down the, down the bevel? Down the plate? Yeah. Right. Crank up our, our voltage and wire speed and see what it does doing a spot stitch combo. Uh, okay, so we got 2T on the trigger. We've got a standard torch. Uh, 4T. When you're doing 4T work, you pull the trigger once, let let go. Yep, and that'll start. And it start weld it until you pull it and let go again. again. Yep. So it's just a continuous. Kind of like a trigger lock. Yeah. Uh, I was a victim of that numerous times. We'd go on break doing heavy wire. The guys would walk by and bump it. Come out with 30 pounds Come back of wires, and break wires all over the floor. The honor guys, you know. Uh, we're 19-1-282. How high do you want to go? For that 3 8 plate? Well, I mean, how high do you want to go on that? That's Still a, being a globular, really. I mean... Uh, <clears throat> that's your world. Well... I'm, I'm the Coke can guy. Uh, we can add a spool gun to this machine. For aluminum, we can do the two-pound spools of stainless. Uh, we want to we want to do this 3 8 plate open root. We got 3 8 plate, 30 degree bevel. Put your gap over there. Big, big. Oh, big don't gap. be scared. 532, 3 sixteenths. I'd say it's piece of cake. <laughs> Probably you want your value set. That's your world, Bob. That's your world. I'm going. I don't, uh, I don't run test plates. So we got 0.3 seconds of preflow, 35 percent inductance. 0.3. Burn back. Nothing over here. We've got standard trigger, standard torch. Those are the numbers for volts and inches per minute. I like to uh, I like to leave the wire inside the gap and on the leading edge down here at the bottom. So I point the wire up just so it's kind of hanging there. I don't need to break down the edges per se. Uh, we have uh, we have some we have some nice pins. Not a ton of reinforcement, but it's a bump there. Thought you couldn't run downhill. Well, I'm sorry, but uh, I put that down. No, I put that on everything. No, you're you're right. There's a big concern about running downhill. Everybody thinks it's weak. I don't know why. Uh, I've tested it. A lot of people have tested it. Uphill, downhill, a uh, root's a root if it's broken the edges down and has reinforcement within the allowable limits. Yeah. I don't know why people think it's weak. Uh, it'll run, it'll go bend test, x-ray, the whole nine yards. So <clears throat> if you're not sure of how to set your machine, we go to the power set mode. We can pick a wire diameter. Uh, this is dialed in for 030. We can pick a a material thickness uh, it goes way low we'll go we'll change this up to 5 16 material it defaults your wire feed speed your voltage 
But within that, you still have some adjustment up and down in those settings. Uh, it's really good for, if you're just starting out and you want to weld up some a project or something, you're not sure where to set your machine, dial in that wire feed diameter, go to your material thickness. It'll be pretty close, but you have some adjustment either way. So we're going to keep going on this 212. We're going to run some stick. We're going to run a spool gun, aluminum, stainless, flux core. There'll be some other videos. So if you're looking for a new MIG machine, stay tuned. We're going to do some other videos. Remember, weld mean, weld green, and behave.